To make your electrolysis device, you're going to need two stainless steel screws, two rubber bands, and a 9-volt battery. The device is incredibly simple to make. You take your 9-volt battery and wrap one of the rubber bands across the terminals. And I'm going to wrap this around twice so that it stays put. And then take the second rubber band and wrap it around the other way, kind of the narrow end of the battery. You can see that you've made a little cross of rubber bands across the terminals. These are just to help hold the stainless steel screws in place. So take one screw and tuck it under the rubber band so that it's touching one of the terminals. And take the other screw and tuck it under the rubber band so that it's crossing the other. And this is your electrolysis device. Boop. I'm going to make a salt solution out of Epsom salts to test my device. And all that is is adding it to water. The exact amount doesn't matter, it just needs to be salty. So just mix it around until most of it's dissolved. To help you really explore what's going on, it's nice to have a pH indicator, which is something that tells you whether solution is an acid or base. My favorite one is to make my own out of a red or purple cabbage. You take the cabbage and chop it up into bits and poach it in really hot water like you're making cabbage tea. Or you can mix it up in a blender. And once you strain out the cabbage bits, you have this nice deep purple cabbage juice indicator. Let's see what happens when we put this device in solution. So here's the Epsom salt solution I made. And I'm just going to place my device so that the two electrodes go down into the solution. I notice a lot of bubbles. And you may see that one side is bubbling much more than the other. I'm going to take a peek to see which side that is. So if I look under this rubber band, I see that's the negative terminal of the battery. So that's interesting that the negative terminal generates more bubbles than the positive terminal. In order to explore this further, I'm going to try this again, but this time I'm going to add a pH indicator. So I'll just dump that solution and start with a fresh batch. This time I'm going to add in some of that cabbage juice that I made. So now I have a solution in this dish of pH indicator, which is my cabbage juice, and Epsom salts. This is a lot easier to see with a white background, so I'll just put this on top of a white sheet of paper. Now I will try again. I'm going to put my electrolysis device the same as I did before. But you'll notice that in addition to the bubbles forming as they did before, something else is going on. There are colors forming around each terminal. There's a greenish, bluish color forming at that negative terminal and a pinkish color forming at the positive terminal. In the next video, you can find out what's happening inside this Petri dish.